Hi everybody, I'm High C and my life's kind of been a mess for months now. I've barely watched any movies, TV shows, or even played a video game. I've done nothing but my day job for months on end. I'm beat up, burnt out, and goddamn exhausted. Even when I do try to do something, I've just been comatose and my mind's wandering and it's made it really impossible to watch tokusatsu. And it really hasn't left me any room to make videos and it's really just been a huge bummer. There's been so much tokusatsu news that I just haven't been able to comment on while it's relevant. So I'm going to say screw it and talk about the things that I've wanted to talk about, even though they're really far out of date now. Like Shao Factory putting out Kamen Rider Zero One on Blu-ray. Having an official season of Kamen Rider out on Blu-ray that you can just go to a store and pick up is incredible. And honestly, just the state of Kamen Rider in general is incredible. I've really only been into tokusatsu for like a few years in the grand scheme of things, and it's it's been kind of cool to watch it go from like complete obscurity and inaccessibility to having all of these routes to watch it, to Subaraya's really big push for the Ultraman series. Even just having Toei release classic series on YouTube, it's just all so much more accessible now than it's ever been before. One of the hardest things with friends who I think would maybe really like Tokusatsu or this series or that or this movie is... It's just so hard to let them watch it. And now with plenty of avenues to engage with it, it's just, it's a cool time to be a Tokusatsu fan. I bought the Blu-ray set as soon as it was announced just to put my wallet where my heart is, to hopefully show there's a real desire for this content outside of Japan. I have been very, very, very slowly watching through Kamen Rider Zero One on Blu-ray, and it's kind of a bare bones release outside of including the movie, especially if you compare it to the Mill Creek releases for Ultraman, but I know reverse importing is like a whole thing that companies are really weary about, so it's probably something to do with that. It's still really amazing to just think that this is something that can actually sit on a store shelf and some kid or adult or whoever can peruse Walmart's Blu-ray section and just happen to pick it up on a whim and fall in love with it. Even if I still think Zero One is kind of a mid-show overall. Shin Ultraman came out in theaters. In Japan only. <laughs> If you're unaware, the Shin series is a series of projects by Studio Kara. This studio operated by Anno Hiodaki, Shin meaning new or true and include Shin Godzilla, Shin Ultraman, and Shin Kamen Rider. There is a promotional website that refers to the four series as the Shin Japan Heroes Universe. However, the only time they've actually crossed over are for a Godzilla vs. Evangelion ride at Universal Studios in Japan. Back in 2016, I got to see Shin Godzilla in a special screening in the theater, and I was just really hoping that there would be a special screening for Shin Ultraman, but so far the only North American premiere is at the Fantasia Film Festival in Canada. And as much as I would love to take a trip up to Canada to see a movie, I'm pretty sure that's just not going to happen. And right behind Shin Ultraman is Shin Kamen Rider. Out of all the Shin projects, I'm probably the most excited for Kamen Rider. There have been two trailers for Shin Kamen Rider so far. One was a throwback of the full intro song from the 1971 Kamen Rider series. This piqued my interest a little bit, I thought it was kind of neat, but at the end of the day, I didn't care that much. But once the full trailer was released, I was absolutely in love with it. I think every one of my personal tokusatsu friends said they were not impressed with it. But for me, there was this beauty and a conflict inside of that trailer. All the shots are done really well cinematically, but just about everything you see feels really cheap. You can see hair poking out of the rider helmet, but you also get this beautiful shot in a broken down house with god rays shining through the walls. If the Shin series has any theme, it's deconstruction. Evangelion Rebuild, the title alone signifies deconstruction, or I guess reconstruction of a deconstructed mecha series. Shin Godzilla was recontextualizing the 1954 Godzilla movie, changing it from a monster of atomic warfare to the monster that is bureaucracy in relation to the Fukushima nuclear disaster and its failure to act. I'm just dying to know what Shin Ultraman and the 
ill-fitting Kamen Rider helmet have to show me? But that's not the only big, mature, new Kamen Rider property we have to look forward to. Part of the 50th anniversary of Kamen Rider, we have Kamen Rider Black Sun. Based off Kamen Rider Black, the Kamen Rider series from 1987, and the basis for the adaptation of Saban's Masked Rider. Black Sun is planned to premiere on Amazon Prime Video in Japan. This, mixed with Amazon Riders, a renamed series of Kamen Rider Amazons on Amazon Prime Video that's available now in the US, means there's a pretty good chance that this will eventually be available on streaming. There's a teaser trailer that doesn't really show much outside of having a darker, moodier, more Amazon's tone to its color grading, and two guys saying henshin with different inflections to help emphasize their characters a little bit. I'm always a little mixed when it comes to aging up Tokusatsu. I do think Kamen Rider Amazons is cool, but as I said in my build video, I think there's a way to age up Kamen Rider without just relying on a muted color palette and a little extra blood. And let's not forget about Fudo P.I. the Kamen Rider double anime series that is due to release in August. If you're asking me if I'm excited to watch this, all I can say is, I'm the dude who bought the Kamen Rider double shoes. I'm honestly like so excited to see this, to actually hang out with Shotaro and Philip again and ride around on the hard boiler and a real plot and not just them shoved into some movie, and especially because whatever reason you can't have Philip in movies anymore. I'm just super excited and yeah, even if that means putting up with uh, goofy, flaily anime Akiko. This is one I just can't wait to watch. Be that fan sub or official release, I just, I'm ready, give it to me. And that's just some stuff I wanted to talk about if you made it this far, thank you. I'm Hi-C and I hope you keep watching.